From my experience, being a business owner is hard, um, especially that first year. You know, you have this fantastic idea or this product or service that you want to offer. You have all these great ideas of what you want to accomplish in the first year. Um, you're super excited. So the first year, you're usually still on that high of becoming self-employed, not having anyone else have their thumb on you. You get to be your own boss. You know, we see it all over social media, the amazing things of being an entrepreneur and being self-employed. Um, however, the reality is, is we tend to set some expectations of what we expect that first year to be. Um, but reality can be quite different. Uh, so I wanted to share a few tips with you guys today about how, you know, things in the first year that maybe might come up or things that you maybe want to shift your perspective and maybe look a little bit different at. So we're going to go through, I think, seven tips about, um, you know, managing expectations versus reality and what that might look like first year you're in business for yourself. My name is Caitlin Melissa and I run a company called Caitlin Melissa Inc. where we help uh, small business owners grow their business with their backend accounting. So we do bookkeeping, accounting, business management, helping with policies and procedures. Uh, we've even done a little HR work. Uh, anything to help small business owners really take off. Uh, the reality is when you get into business, you are good at whether it's a service or you are the technician that created the product. However, um, you maybe don't know how to do the social media marketing side and you also don't maybe have the business management side. So Caitlin Melissa Inc comes in and we handle that business management side for you so that you can focus on your business so that you can focus on marketing, promoting your business and actually providing your product or service and you allow us to do the rest. The first year in business, you can expect to work hard. That's a real, it, it is what it is. You're going to be putting long hours in and, but you need to take time for yourself and that can be hard. That can be really difficult, but you need to take, whether it's a self-care day, whether it's just, um, you know, if you're a female entrepreneur, maybe, well, males too, but maybe you want to just take a little bath, um, you know, take some time to read a book, anything that you can do to help with your mental health, your sanity, because the reality is you're going to be working a lot and it's going to be tough. It's going to be extremely tough on your family life, on your personal life, and uh, you got to be ready for that. So you have to take some time to unwind. Expect to make mistakes, but learn from them. The reality is you're going to mess up. You're going to maybe launch a product too soon. Maybe you're going to create a lead page on a website and you're not going to have all the back end stuff worked out so that they actually get added to your newsletter list and that now they're on your mailing list and maybe you're, it's going to happen. You're going to set up, you're going to onboard a new client. You're going to mess it up. You're not going to show them one product your software that you use it is what it is it's going to happen don't beat yourself up don't be looking in the rearview mirror all you can do is focus on moving forward and really those mistakes are just lessons and you need to learn from them you need to grow from them and that's going to make you better and it's going to help you face adversity in the future expect to spend quite a bit of money in the beginning uh, depending on the business that you're launching um, but it will pay off in the long run. And what I mean is you might be investing in some advertising, right? If you're a service-based business, like a contractor, you might buy sweaters and hats and t-shirts and you might be giving them out to people. Um, it's going to cost you money for good quality stuff. However, that word of mouth marketing, um, I have a few clients that are contractors and I wear their sweaters into Walmart to get groceries or in no frills and the amount of people that comment on it. Um, it's going to pay off long run for you. It's just that return on investment may not be immediate. You know, you'll hear some people in the finance world talk about your return on investment should be three times. So if you spend a thousand dollars on something, it should create at least $3,000 in income for you. Um, however, the reality is, is that sometimes there's a few things that you have to with delay gratification. You have to invest now, whether it's time and money, and it may pay off a year down the road, two years down the road, five years down the road. Um, but your first year of business is tough because money usually is tight, um, unless you're independently wealthy. Um, it's tough in that first year. So you might be putting all this time, energy and money out and not reaping the benefits of that yet. I just suggest, hold on, don't give up. Um, I can speak from experience that it pays off. You just got to give it a little bit of time. Expect to network with other business owners. Uh, it doesn't matter what product or service you offer. Uh, business to business is going to be crucial for you. 
Uh, you get, you need to get to know other business owners. You need to be willing, if you're a home-based business, you need to be willing to go out, uh, maybe have coffee, you know, join a local chamber or a local group where you can do some networking events on the evening. Sometimes they'll do golf tournaments or, you know, do those things, get out in the community, meet those business owners. Um, it's nice to connect with those people because they may not sell the same product or have the same service that you do, but they know what it's like to be a business owner. And it can be tough. Um, you know, I can only speak to my own experience, but I love my spouse. Uh, Brandon is phenomenal. He supports every single thing that I do, but the reality is he's an employee. He's a machinist. He works in the machine shop. And when he leaves work, he doesn't think about it anymore. So he comes home and I'm stressing out about something or I'm working in the evening to get something done because I'm an entrepreneur. I Nobody else signs my paycheck. I sign my paycheck and he can't understand that. He can't, you know, support me in that way because he's never had to do it. But when I go out and I network with other business owners, they, they help me in confirming and understanding where I'm coming from and maybe giving me some advice or some feedback or a different way to look at something, you know, a different perspective on it. So I, you know, expect to be doing those things, work, plan them into your schedule and don't avoid them because the reality is it, it'll be a huge positive effect on you, especially your mental health. Um, but they can also give you ideas on, you know, how to maybe streamline some stuff in your business and make some more money. So expect to network. Expect to be flexible with your time and schedule. Now, some of you right now might be cringing. That was me. Um, I was a planner. I was such a strict planner that like I would say I was leaving at nine o'clock in the morning and if I left at 9.05, my entire day was ruined. I would be so mad because I would be late for everything. Everyone was gonna be upset with me. They wouldn't think I was serious about it because I was late. I had all of these expectations on myself. And the reality is when you're, at, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, just a human being, you have to be willing to be flexible because things are going to change. Um, you're going to book an appointment and they're gonna cancel. You're going to, you know, have a, a launch date set up for your website or you're gonna have a date that you're launching a new product and something's gonna happen. Or you're gonna be in the middle of completing, you know, if you're a service based business, maybe you're in the middle of a Zoom call with a client and your internet cuts out. Those are things that are going to happen and you need to expect them and you need to be willing to shift and change directions and you know not allow those little shifts or changes to affect your day and to you know maybe negatively affect your mood um, because that's not positive moving forward as a business owner. Expect to find new ways to market your business. You're going to have to you know what works today may not work tomorrow. Technology is changing, the world is changing. Um, you're gonna have to be willing and open to, you know, look at those and see what things you could shift and change. Expect growth, but not overnight. Um, in the experience of what I do, I have uh, seen some business owners, you know, the first year of business just crush it. And I've seen other ones struggle for a couple of years to really get their foundation underneath of them. Um, but if you're growing, you know, uh, something we say in our business all the time is, if you can just focus on being 1% better every single day, then a year from now, you're 365% better than you were. So, you know, focus and expect that growth, but just don't expect it to happen overnight. So thank you very much for listening to these, you know, expectations versus reality. And uh, I'm sure there's tons more, but that's just a few of them. And if you have any more, you know, comment them below. Let's talk about it. Let's start a conversation.